Welcome along and welcome to a fresh new start here on Spruce Mountain Farms. We have moved here from Stone Valley. This is a continuation of the uh, American Survival series we've been doing over there. Uh, we got to the point on that map where we, uh, well, basically, we weren't able to move any further. The contracts were failing us. Uh, the land prices were way too much for us to deal with. And so we have moved farms. We've got ourselves a nice little farm here on Spruce Mountain Farms. We um, we sold everything up we could and transferred. Well, we kept everything we could and transferred it over to here. Sold up the rest and, uh, and bought this farm. So uh, we ended up with 482,782 pounds uh, when we sold everything up there. Uh, we've kept all of our machinery. We've got all of our equipment and everything. Uh, I think we returned everything that was leased. No, no, we kept two leased items. Our animal transport to get all our cows here and our flatbed bale trailer. Um, we've got our fuel trailer here that does not have anything uh, in it. Uh, we've still got our two tractors. We've got our New Holland T6125 and our John Deere 6155M. Uh, um, as you see, we've got our truck. Uh, we've still got our TLX uh, 3500. Um, we've got our Vermeer wind rower, our tether and our uh, grass roller stroke cedar. And uh, this is our new cow shed uh, with all uh, 36 cows that we uh, brought over. Uh, the one thing that this has uh, or requires that our previous one didn't is water. So uh, water trough needs filling. Um, we also have a feeding area. We've got a little bit of feed in at the moment. But I think we're going to have to buy some bales to get through the winter, unfortunately. Um, but we've got our feeding trailer and everything here. Um, and then uh, I want to show you what we bought land-wise as well. So we own uh, this section of the map up here. We bought uh, the main farm, which is field 8, field 7 and field 6. Um, we also bought field five because, as you can see, our cow area uh, stretches quite a way into it here. So uh, for our cow field to properly be set up, um, we had to buy field five as well. Um, all of these are past uh, being ready. Uh, we've got a withered field in field five, so we're going to have to deal with all that. Field eight and field six are both ready to harvest, though. Uh, field eight has uh well field eight has cotton in it so we're probably going to go through and see if we can get that harvested uh field six has uh, i think field six has corn in it doesn't it yes it does so uh, ideally we want to get those two harvested but uh we are very short on time and it is the second day of november i think if we look at our calendar yeah, both of those crops, uh, we do not have the equipment uh, to get them harvested. So I think both of those are possibly going to not make it this year. And we'll end up with three withered fields, especially as our concentration today really needs to be on the cows. However, what do we have on sale in the shop? Not an awful lot. That power spray, though, that would be quite a good item to get my hands on uh 24 meters would do us well uh we don't have the sea and spray but we could add that later if we wanted to buy it and a nice john deere setup so yeah i think we will go and pick that up from the shop uh and uh, and purchase that otherwise i i think everything here is is not really anything we're after so, yes, we are getting set up today. I'm not overly worried about the crops that are in our fields. Um, first job is to make sure the cows are doing well. And uh, in order to do that, uh, we're going to have to drop this trailer off. You can also see, actually, in the back, we've still got the forks. So what I'm going to do is open this up, undo those, and we can come and get those with the tractor in a minute. 
for now, though, I'm going to hook up to our uh, milk tanker. Uh, this obviously is what we normally fill uh, with milk. Uh, but today, it's going to have to be used to uh, give some water to our cows. And one of the really nice things about this map, one of the things that works really, really well, um, is this, these water points. I love how these look. And I did this in the first look. We had a look at uh, at these. Um, but they, they just so nicely worked into here. And I don't mind getting stuff for our animals if uh, this is how we're going to be filling it up. So let's refill that. Doesn't cost anything to refill from here. So, uh, yeah, we're filling from our own lake and using the pump system to do it. Right, water is filled. Let's get back off here. And do you know what? I'm really tempted just to go and hire some equipment and see if we can get the two fields that we have to get harvested, harvested today. So let's take this over here, empty this. Uh, I think we could probably ha uh, hire a fairly small combine to go and get field six done. And, uh, and yeah, just hire a, a cotton harvester and let those two run. So with the water all filled up, how does that leave our cows? Let's go through here and have a look. Uh, so cows now have... Wow. We are going to need... Well, we don't have a huge amount of cows. Uh, so that should be enough for a little while. Uh, hopefully that productivity will do not too badly there. And uh, I think what we want to do today then is probably head out and uh, see if we can hire a uh, cotton harvester uh, and a combine harvester, get those two fields done, and then go from there with getting the... Uh, uh, yeah, go from there and uh, get the rest of the farm uh, sorted and up and running. Uh, we're going to need a cultivator or something to do field, uh, field eight, I think it is. Uh, no, field five. So field five, we're going to need a cultivator. That's moved. We're going to have to do this quickly because of the way this is all shaking around under here with those forks on it. It's not overly happy. There we go. Right, let's get the forks unloaded off here. We'll then head down to the shop. Uh, as I said, I think we'll pick up this sprayer as well. And um, we can then get moving down to the shop and uh, like it was on stone valley we've got clever motors here um and like it was on uh, on stone valley we've got the main shop entrance around here and the contracting office around the side um as it was with them uh with, with before we are able to uh get contracting machines from here to do stuff across the area now, going into the shop, um, as I said, I am going to buy this. I'm not going to put the spot sprayer on it immediately, but we are going to get it in such a way that we can uh, get this set up. Now, the number plate I want to put on it uh, matches a tractor. So this is going to be a uh, max fur. There we go. That is done. And I'm going to make that black on there and back only. And OK, so, yeah, everything else is good. Let's buy that now and uh and all good uh as i said nothing else that we want from there uh now the cotton harvester we will go for the cheaper one 485,000 for this and uh, we're just gonna set it going on a hired worker uh, it's gonna cost us 24,000 to lease this and i'm kind of hoping we get enough off there how much is cotton worth uh, so cotton at its best price uh, in March is two and a half grand per thousand liters. So, uh, yeah, this may end up being a bit of a price sink, uh, but we'll find out. Let's uh, lease that then uh, just to do that. And then finally, we want to grab a harvest. Uh, no, we don't want to grab it. I'm not going to go with the combine harvester, actually. I'm going to go with the forage harvester. And I'm going to lease 
a John Deere 8000 series. I do want to have one of these overall. So this is uh, this is good. Um, engine size, uh, GPS, no. Uh, I'm going to go with these colors. And we're not going to put a number plate on it um, because it is a least harvester. And uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good way to go with that. Uh, leasing that is going to be 15,000 as well. So not cheap, um, but it is uh, the setup we want. And to go with that, we are going to need a header and we're going to need a trailer. So forage harvester header, we want a John Deere. Uh, how much horsepower does our forage harvester have? Let's have a look. Uh, 380 horsepower. Let's have a look in here. So this with John Deere is 375 perfect we will lease that yes okay and then we need a trailer as well and i'm gonna try and get something a little bit uh more all roundery here um let's see what we've got for the size of fields and everything how much does this red rock hold so this will hold up to 44 perfect uh we will get it in a green um we'll leave the design color that but we'll put the yellow on there to go with our tractors uh configuration we are doing extension so actually yeah there we go uh trollable tires no i want a michelin's design standard side markers uh we will leave that and we will leave that and yeah, this is going on this tractor as well. So we're going to buy this for 30,000. Uh, and that will do us fairly well as well. So nice setup over here. We are going to have to find a fuel station because this tractor is getting a bit low on fuel. Uh, and we will get the sprayer back a little bit later. For now, what I want to do is get uh, this hooked up to here. And onto our silage trailer. Uh, we want to get this hooked up to the header. And we're going to get these two in a follow me configuration. And yeah, I think we want something like this ultimately for ourselves. We talked about this a lot when we were doing, uh, when we we're on Stone Valley. And holding on to this harvester actually might be fairly good for us. Uh, if we can we are on lease to buy uh lease to own here uh so that will work towards it uh put the follow me on that do we have someone nope we don't hold it on and hopefully it will do no that is not following for whatever reason there we go and perfect right that's all set up and what we're going to set this to do is uh, a feature I really like in FS22. Uh, well, we don't want to hire. What we want to do is come into here, into the hired workers, and we can target this uh, up to this field here and go target position there and set it going. And yeah, that will now go up and it'll go and harvest that field while we jump in this and go and harvest the other one. Coming up to field six and I want to get this, yeah, to come over here. Uh, let's unfold that. Will it let me unfold the front or is it unfolding? I think, yeah, there we go. Now I can unfold the front. And we want to get the pipe out as well. And then what we're going to do, is, I think, is we're going to set course play to do this one. So into our hired workers. Uh, we want to create job. Course play field work. Yep. Uh, target position there. Uh, field position is here uh we want first waypoint open course generator um we want to do 
I think we'll do three headlands just to uh, clear things out fairly easily. Smooth in the headland corners so that we can follow easily. And then I'm going to set it to do a racetrack uh, around that after that. So generate field course. And that is looking pretty good as well. So close that and start job. And then we can jump out. Jump in our tractor. Take the hide worker off this. And as he goes into there, uh, we'll then be able to follow behind. And, oh, you're going to go around that way, are you? Fine. Around through the woodlands. And it looks like we're going to lose maybe a little bit of crop as we try and follow behind here. Wow, this is uh, a little bit more difficult than I initially thought to get myself set up. But that should actually reach out on this bit here. Yep, there we go. And we are away. So I had a little bit of a teething trouble and discovered that the manual discharge mod does not like uh forage harvesting so i've had to turn that off in order to get this to work it does mean we've lost a little bit of crop uh around some of the outside of the field but i don't think it's going to be a huge amount and uh and we'll be able to just keep going and uh and keep this harvester going as well uh so yeah not too bad uh we are going to be doing this carting as i said we do have an issue in that we don't have a huge amount of fuel I'm hoping that there's going to be enough to do this job, uh, but we'll see how we go because, of course, the time is ticking on today and uh, and we don't know how long this job is going to take. Uh, if we can keep this harvester going and, uh, and, and keep it moving as quickly as we can, um, with any luck, we'll get it all out. It'll be fine. Um, but at the moment, uh, we... Uh, well... We've solved the problem, so uh, I'm now hopeful that today is going to go a little bit smoother. One and a half trips around the field, and it looks like we're going to have a pretty full trailer by that point. Trying to adjust my speed carefully so that we keep going. But uh, yeah, 44,000 litres of, uh, well, as I said, a uh, trip and a half around. And it's filling up the back at the moment, but that should fill right to the top. Um, our forage harvester then will wait for us here. We've got one more headland to do, and then we're going to do a racetrack uh, approach through the field. There we go. 99%. Uh, I think that is pretty full. So we're going to go and head back to the yard, and I'll show you. Uh, what we're planning to do with this, and this is an extension of what we originally did on, uh, or we originally planning to do on Stone Valley. Um, I don't want to do traditional uh, silos on here. I want to do something a little bit different. So as I said, I'm looking to do something a little bit different on here. And to do that, we're going to be putting in a, a new uh, building. Let's head into our construction over here. And we're looking at silos. And we spoke about these a little while ago. Uh, here we go. So we got some fermenting silos. I'm trying to remember. We got the one from the... So that's a standard multi-fruit silo. We've got these two here and these two here. Um, this is 100,000. And is probably a little bit large for what we want at the moment. Uh, so this one here, this holds doesn't tell me how much it holds which is a little bit annoying uh but we're gonna put this i think and just over here in our yard uh that way we can fill it up in fact yeah if we put it here we can probably fill it up and uh and empty it as we're coming through our uh to feed our cows uh, doesn't tell me how much these hold, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, we've got two large stator and a steel silo. That one there. 200,000, 250,000. I think at the moment we can only really afford 60,000. So I'm going to put it here. 
a little bit in the middle of the yard should be uh should allow us to uh do things as we wish so that there like that and then i want to unload this chaff into this here and uh and then we can unload it at the other side and keep things going and if we need to add another one we can add another one uh, i think is the way to go like that especially as we're only doing the single field at the moment uh with this we're now following behind our forage harvester as it cuts in i've had a look at that silo and uh to have a look at exactly how much it will hold uh 338,000 liters so we should be able to fit this trailer uh, this field in i think um we are coming up to uh well we can we can put 44,000 liters in this trailer and this is only our second trailer so that would mean i think we can get seven trailer works in here and uh or seven trailer works into the silo i think what we might do is if we need to uh we might put down a bunker silo as well uh just to uh sort of cover the uh any excess we get but to be perfectly honest i don't think we're gonna have a huge amount of excess from this it does show me i only need to do maybe one field like this a year for our own feed because uh, 338,000 litres is going to be more than enough uh, to keep our, well, low number of cows at the moment fed. So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, it is getting darker, though, as well. So uh, there is that to take into consideration, too. Uh, whether we get all of this done by the end of today is a big question mark. Um, we'll see how quickly it takes us to get this field out. The other thing we've got quietly moving around and doing the work on here, of course, is our case uh, cotton harvester. That is up to 17,722 litres. Price for cotton uh, that we were seeing earlier, best price for cotton. Uh, we are looking at 2,500 uh march next year so um that actually is gonna pay really well especially if we get a full one full bale off here would be great two full bales would be even better so uh, we'll see how this does this will probably be the only time we do cotton on this map uh and uh i want to um yeah i think it's gonna pay off for us with it doing it we're getting about 21 percent uh per row off here at the moment and this is still only our third trailer full. So uh, I reckon we're probably coming up to about halfway through this field uh, if we're not there already. We've only got one more row on this bit here. And then this next row is going to bring us, uh, yeah, easily going to bring us halfway through. And uh, we've not even got three and a half trailers yet. Uh, from our seven trailer estimate so uh fully expecting all of this field will fit into our small silo and uh will allow us to have a good start on silage to feed the cows going forwards uh we are going to have to have a look and see if there's any way we can do hay um i'm thinking the odd bit of field we've got around the cow pasture uh, is probably going to be a really good place to put an extra bit of grass. So uh, the, the top end of field five is a really odd shape at the moment. So I want to square that off a little bit, make that a little bit easier to work. I have a feeling field seven already is a uh, is already a grass field. Uh, so between those two, that should give us more than enough uh grass or uh well hay making ability so uh we need to go and tip this into the silo i think we're going to be working into the night uh to get all of this done um but it should work pretty well for us in the long run uh, i'm quite quite happy with uh, our setup on here i'll tell you what though that steel silo 
that we've added fits in so well with the rest of the aesthetic around our farm. Uh, that is uh, that is quite awesome. And I like coming around here like this and uh, and sort of emptying this way. Uh, yeah, no, that is uh, that is really really cool, and and just works really really well. Empty out our red rock trailer, and yeah, as I said, I think we've got maybe three more loads to go uh, this evening and get everything in. Uh, I'm going to get those done. We will get the cotton cleared as well. Um, but I'm going to leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Bertram Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.